Hi, it's James and in this video I'm going to be showing you exactly how I was able to play Minecraft using only the touch bar. So let's jump straight in. Okay, so the first thing I did was I downloaded a program called Better Touch Tools. And essentially this program is what I use to allow me to create the buttons to put onto the touch bar. So you get a 45 day free trial before you have to pay a license fee for it. So the license is, I believe it's $80 uh, for two years or a lifetime subscription of $21, which is a really, really good price, especially for what it offers. I then went ahead and downloaded this. When I opened up the application, I went ahead and selected touch bar as the option. And then I went ahead and clicked on the plus. And from here, we have the ability to add a button to the touch bar. So this button was going to be for the W key. And then I wanted to go ahead and add an action to this button. So when we clicked this button, something would happen. So I went ahead and clicked here to the action section. And then I went ahead and clicked on the action section and went to send keyboard shortcut section here. I then wanted to record a shortcut. As this was the button for the W key, I wanted to record the W press. So I clicked it and then I clicked the W key on my keyboard. I then assumed that this would work. So I created uh, loads more buttons for all the other keys I would need. So the A key, the S key, the D key, left click, right click and so on. However, when I first tested it in Minecraft, it didn't work. I spent quite a lot of time troubleshooting why this wouldn't work. And then I realized what happens if I was to change this to send key down only, and then I was to add a delay. And I did this delay of a very short period of time of 0.01. I then went ahead and created another action and recorded the key press of the W key again. But instead of setting it to key down only, I set it to key up. And thankfully, to my surprise, it actually worked. As in, it when I pressed that W key, it moved my character forward on Minecraft. I then went ahead and did the same thing for all of these other buttons that we used within that video. So we had the W key, the A key, D, S, E, space, shift, left click, right click. And yeah, that was how I was able to control our character in Minecraft using only the touch bar. As you know from that video, uh, to make it a bit harder, I didn't program any buttons in to control the direction you're looking at. I did however want to create those buttons just in case I was to create a future video where I'd need it to look left and look right. So I first approached that by doing the same thing again where we created a button and gave it the title um, look left. And then I went ahead and did an action again. But then I so I first looked here into the options that they give you, and one of them is other mouse actions. So I thought that potentially if I was to just to do move mouse to position, and I was to record a position of the center screen, and then get it just to move the mouse slightly left, and that this would enable me to look left and look right. However, that didn't actually work. And I spent, I also spent a lot of time troubleshooting in why this didn't work. And I found out why. The way Minecraft is built is there's, your mouse is always in the center screen. And when you look left and look right, your mouse isn't actually moving. It's still in the center. As in, if I look left over here, even though you're moving your mouse to the left, it's still staying in the center. And that's why using this action here didn't work, as it's physically moving the mouse to a position over here. But the game didn't detect that for some reason. So I then tried it again in multiple ways of adding delays and trying everything I could within the app to get it to work. However, I just couldn't get it to work. So what I thought was, what I meant if I was to write a Python script to like simulate a mouse movement, which I did. So what I wanted to do was when that look left button was pressed on a touch bar, I wanted it to call my Python script. So what I did was I went here and clicked on search and typed scripts. I then clicked on the execute shell script slash task one. However, this isn't Python, this is a shell script. So what I needed it to do was to run my Python script. So what I did is I wrote a script in bash to run my Python script. 
I then tested it before I ran it with the button by clicking this run script now and it worked, it managed to move it left. I then was very sceptical in whether this would actually work within Minecraft and I was greatly surprised because it actually did. So when I went into Minecraft and I clicked on the LL button, it actually moved my player's character left, which is what I wanted it to do. But overall that was how I managed to control my character in Minecraft using only the touch bar. Well that now brings us to the end of this video. I do hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please do consider giving it a like as it really does help it out in the YouTube algorithm. And while you're down there, please do consider subscribing to this channel. I'll see you all in the next one.